Hey everyone, it's Jenna. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we're gonna head out to the thrift store because with the prices of everything right now, I wanna show you all that you don't have to spend a lot of money to get those really high-end designer looking pieces for your space. Some of them are just sitting right at the thrift store for really reasonable prices. I'm gonna take you all with me to kind of show you the things that I scan and look for, and then we're gonna come back home. I'm gonna show you all of my purchases and how I style them within my home. So I hope you can get some fun thrifting inspiration from this video, and yeah, without further Further ado, let's go to the thrift store. Okay, so here we are at the thrift store, and before even going inside, I spotted these pretty cane bar stools for only $18 per chair. And vintage inspired cane chairs are such a designer look, like these that were recently featured in Architectural Digest, and you could even give the wood a coat of black paint for a more modern feel if you wanted. So the first place I like to scan through is the furniture section, and here it's just really fun to use your imagination and think outside of the box. And speaking of box, I spotted this storage trunk that could be really pretty used as a double nightstand in a room with two twin beds or used as a decorative coffee table to add some depth and character to a space. So don't take an object exactly for what it is while thrifting. Try to use your imagination and picture it in your space with things that you like and that match your style. So these matching dressers would be really pretty as nightstands with practical storage in a larger scale bedroom. I would paint them black and maybe swap out the curtains current hardware. Now, most people would look at this and just see a TV stand, but it would also be really pretty as a bookshelf and maybe a playroom or a nursery. I love the lighter driftwood tone to the wood and how it gives this piece a slightly coastal feel. And when looking for thrifted items, I like to find pieces that have something unique and special about them. And I loved the woven leather detail on the bottom of this table, but the top was looking a little bit dated with the glass. So for $50, you could maybe just take the bottom section off and use it as a statement art piece or replace the top altogether. And this TV stand that I found had the perfect bones for recreating this Lewis TV stand from Wayfair. All you would have to do is just give the whole thing a coat of black spray paint and then put some decorative cane over the doors. Super simple update and would give this piece such a designer look. Another thing I try to do while thrifting is just make sure to look at the tags because you never know, you can totally find a designer piece. And this was actually from the Pottery Barn outlet and would be pretty with some bowl filler in it on a console or coffee table, or you could just use it to hold bread or fruits or veggies in your kitchen. Another thing that I love to look for while thrifting are bed frames and headboards. And I found this cutout upholstered headboard that has a very similar overall look to the Fillmore bed at Serena and Lily that costs $4,000. Meanwhile, you can get this headboard for 30 bucks and it gives you a very similar overall look. I also spotted this gorgeous wood curved headboard and footboard. I thought this was such a unique piece and would add so much warmth and personality to a space. And also metal bed frames have been making a resurgence lately. So definitely some fun things to keep an eye out for if you are redoing a bedroom. Now heading on over to the home decor and kitchen section. Green has been named the color of the year by several of the major paint companies. And I spotted these really pretty jade-like salt and pepper shakers. That would be a fun non-committal way of adding some green accents into a space and kind of taking part in that trend, but not doing anything permanent. Also, I did spot this green Cuisinart Dutch oven for only $34, whereas these can go for a hundred plus dollars online. It's a very unique color, but if you're into green, I thought that would be a really good find. I also just kind of like to scan through the serverware and kitchenware to see if there are any unique pieces that I need to add to my collection. So something that's great to look for at thrift stores are little creamer pitchers. These are great for heating up syrup when serving pancakes, waffles, or French toast. So I always like to have a couple on hand and they're usually really affordable here and you can almost always find them. I also like to look for worn spoons to add some character and warmth to my utensil crock. Warm wood just add such a found rich look to your space so I always keep an eye out for that and the same thing with aged brass candlestick holders I love to collect these for just popping on a mantle or a console table just somewhere where you need to add a little height with your decor I also used a bunch of thrifted candlesticks that I had collected all of last year for my holiday table setup and I like to keep an eye out for a variety of shapes sizes and heights to curate kind of an eclectic grouping so that they have that found vintage look when I 
put them all out together on a tablescape. And I also spotted this really cute salad serving set. I think this would be nice if you entertained a lot. And wood is one of those materials that is always classic and timeless, so it would definitely last through the years. Something that I have a fun time keeping an eye out for are signed pottery pieces. And I think it is so special when a piece is handmade. And I really love that story that a piece of pottery can bring to a space. So I always keep an eye out for things like bakeware, mugs, bowls, planters, trays, things like that. Most of my bakeware is thrifted pottery, which I love. I also like to incorporate pieces into my space that have some sort of aging or a pretty patina on them. I think that adds so much detail and depth to a space. And this little tray would be so cute as a catch-all for keys or wallets on an entryway table. The last thing that I looked at were some books and I love to slowly curate a decorative book collection for my shelves because thrift store books are so affordable and I typically put the books that I like to read in covered storage like cabinets or closets and then display books with pretty neutral linen bindings out on my shelves. I'm not a fan of the page first technique because it seems a little backwards to me, literally, and it just makes it hard to locate certain books so I just keep them separate, decorative and reading material so that way my shelves can be really pretty and I can easily find reading books when I need to. All right, so we're back home. It's time for the haul portion of this video. And the first thing that I found was this really pretty striped linen -y pillow. Whoop, got some Kona hair on. I'm sure that's um, foreshadowing of what to come, but I like that it was easily choppable and if you guys follow my channel, you all know I love just simple striped patterns on pillows. I think it is such a casual, organic look. And to me, it's very calming to have pillows that have a little bit of pattern, but nothing too crazy. They kind of subtly fit into my color scheme. They're a great way to just add a little punch of a colored stripe, but I like to keep it very simple and just non-distracting. So this fit right into that kind of look in my space. And I don't know, sometimes like upholstered items and things like that can be weird buying them from the thrift store if there's no way to properly clean it. But this guy has a zipper so I can just toss this in the washing machine. And what I think I'm gonna use this for is I actually have a little chair that I thrifted previously for $10. I loved the worn detail on it and it just sits in our entryway and it's a great spot for sitting down to put shoes on and it just kind of you know helps elevate our little corner. So I think I'm just gonna pop this on there to soften the look of that and just really help create a very casual organic moment right there right next to the olive tree and a little pop of this really pretty kind of gray blue I don't know I really love that so definitely a fun find for four dollars okay so this next piece might be one of my favorite things and it is this gorgeous kind of earthenware vintage croc now this didn't have a price on it when I got it so I took it up to the register and the lady I think she knew how much these are worth and she just looked at me and she goes hmm 10 bucks and I was like cool because these can cost a pretty penny. On Etsy, I've seen these for $100, $200. They're just one of those pieces that have character. You cannot buy them new. And I love that this can have so many uses throughout my home. I can use this as a kitchen crock to store all of my utensils. But what I think I'm going to use it for right now is just to pop some really pretty greenery and florals in just to create a very soft moment, maybe on our bench in our entryway to kind of make it spring and summer like. I love adding worn vintage pieces to my home. If you guys follow my channel, you all know this and you'll probably see this throughout the rest of the haul. But pieces like this are just something that I always scan for at the stores. And you can find these at antique malls marked up for a lot more. So I could use this eventually as a planter or something like that. I just thought that this was a really great deal for $10. All right, so when at the thrift store, nine times out of 10, I always stick to home decor or things for my kitchen. But every once in a while, I stumble across a really great clothing find. And this is actually an anthropology shirt. And it is made out of the softest linen material. And if you guys aren't familiar, anthropology shirts similar to this can go anywhere from like 80 to $120. So the fact that I got this for $5 was amazing. And I figured it would be perfect for summer, just tucked into a casual pair of jeans. It's a super comfy material. I actually don't have a lot of black shirts, which I actually really like the color black now. Back in my college years, I was all about color and pattern. But now that I'm in my 30s, I just kind of find colors like this way more appealing. I don't know. No, I just think it's really pretty. It has some really pretty stitching here on the collar. I love the kind of balloon puffy sleeves. I think it's so cute with the little v-neck tie right here. So definitely a fun actual designer find. 
All right, so I know in the shop with me portion, I mentioned looking for old, worn spoons and utensils to help add character to your kitchen crocs. And I was lucky enough to find both of these really pretty, perfectly aged rolling pins. This guy was $8 and this one was two. First, I'm gonna wash them off, but I think that they will add so much character and that kind of worn, aging, found look to my utensil croc. Again, on Etsy, antique ones like this can go for 30 plus. Dollars. I figure that $8 and $2 was a really good price. So I'm excited to just kind of pop them in my utensil crock and have them soften up our kitchen decor a little bit. All right, so something that I always keep my eye out for at thrift stores are little tiny pottery pieces. So I found this guy, how cute is this? It was a dollar and it actually is signed. So somebody made this by hand, which I love looking for pieces like that. I think that it just adds so much character to your decor. And the reason that I look for these is because what I like to do is just take a faux greenery stem, pop a little bit off of it and stick it in here. And then you instantly have this really cute, tiny accent piece that is so versatile and you can use it all throughout your home. So you could use this on a nightstand as shelf styling decor as just a little accent or maybe popping on top of a stack of books. There's just lots of uses for it. I think greenery really helps soften a space. It makes it feel a lot more organic and rooted in nature. And when you have little pieces like this popped all throughout your home, it really does help elevate your space and make it feel a lot more homey and fresh. So this is just something I like to keep an eye out for. So I have a collection of them on hand so I can just, you know, pop them wherever I need them in my home. All right, so this next piece I thought was so fun. It is this really cute little copper ice bucket. And this was $9. And what I thought it'd be good for is just having on display in our kitchen when we have guests over. Because if you've entertained before, I think you all know if you have large numbers of people over, the ice can run out pretty quickly. So I'll always just go to the store, grab an extra bag of ice, and then put some in this so it's out and everyone can kind of just get it themselves. I have a little drink station out and we have a lot of copper details in our kitchen. I have some copper pots hanging from our backsplash and I just figured that this would kind of go well with that. It would add a little bit of a punch of orangey color and contrast without being too crazy and still being more of a natural element and natural material. I just thought this was fun and had character. A vintage ice bucket is always a good idea. I feel like nine bucks for this wasn't too bad and I'm excited to use it for our next little gathering. All right, so something I almost never leave the thrift store without buying are books. And I like to just slowly collect them because if you just get ones that you really like or ones that look really pretty You know in a couple of months, you'll have a really beautiful collection So I found this one it was 50 cents and it's called the world is flat And I really like this title because in a weird way It's just a reminder for me to always have an open mind because you know I think when you're so close-minded you can be wrong like when people thought the world was flat So I don't know. I just thought it was a fun title. I love that. It's gray I have a lot of tan and white colored books, but I don't have a lot of gray binding So I thought that this would be pretty to add to my book display collection I bought this purely for decor purposes only I know people buy some books to read Obviously when I buy books, I'm going to read and normally I go through like a used bookstore or something like that Not necessarily the thrift store the thrift store. I kind of stick more to decor and stuff So I like that this was more of like a linen-y kind of fabric I think that really helps elevate your book decor and makes it feel very soft and very designer because a lot of designer websites do actually sell linen books so that's kind of something that I like when I'm looking for my thrifted books and I don't know I just thought this was a good one for 50 cents to add to my collection all right, so this next piece is not a newly acquired item, but I get so many questions on this piece. I bought it about a year ago, so I just wanted to include it in this haul and kind of tell you all about it since I get so many questions on it. And it is this gorgeous vintage urn planter. Now, I got this guy for $10. I actually saved the price tag because I've been meaning to include it in a thrifting video for a really long time and I just haven't done one. So um, it was $10 for this. And I'm sorry, but this is something that could go for honestly two to $300 online or at an antique store. I love the gorgeous aging on this and I love that it has a handle detail. I think the little handle details just make 
pots and vases feel a little bit more old world and vintagey, which I personally love the look of. So what I'm gonna use this for is in our upstairs room, we actually have a little side table that was also thrifted. I got it from Habitat for Humanity for like $50. And I'm just gonna pop this right on top and add some statement greenery. Right now, all I have are some dried olive stems that I got from Etsy a while back. They were fresh at one point, but I think I need to add something else in there eventually. But right now, that's all I have. So I really like the look of this and how it just really creates a statement and your eyes are automatically drawn to this old chippy vintage object. I love that it looks like it has a story and that it's just been aging out in the sun for years. So it reminds me of something you would find in like Italy or Greece. It does have a drainage hole at the bottom if I want to use it for a planter eventually, but I just love the look of this so much. I want to have it on display inside somewhere where I'm going to see it all the time. So definitely a great steal on this. I cannot believe that I found this for $10. And as of right now, this is my favorite vintage find of all time. Definitely one of those treasures that I cannot believe I found and is always gonna go front and center in a room in my home because I love it so much. All right, everyone, that about wraps up this thrift with me and haul. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this kind of content. And if you are not subscribed, make sure that you are because I post new home decor videos every week and I'd love to have have you all join the family. So thank you all again so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!